Here's a couple quick tips of ways you can make sure your vocals are recorded better, even if you're using something as crappy as a cell phone mic. Um, this is what you would do. No matter what, you should mount the mic you're singing into. Don't hold it. If you hold it, you're going to wind up either eating it and making it where it's too close to you so you're and, and maybe and you're cupping it or you're you know further further you know like out the word forces you picture rage against the machine it'll either sound like you have a lisp or that you're it's you, the top end's all rolled off it's not going to sound good as soon as you start holding the mic put it down and be the same distance from it approximately while you're singing if you get louder be a little further away as you get louder maintain the level make sure it's not clipping no matter what Another thing, so other than mounting it, be in a room with no reflections. Sing in a vocal booth. Create your own vocal booth if you don't have one by using a carpeted room with lots of clothes in it and stuff. Like, that's generally okay. You don't want to be close to walls because that'll make it reflect. And if you don't, if they're, the walls aren't dead, in other words, if they're not really isolating, padded up, where there's not reflecting crap, you know, and you can't hear behind them. Like if it's a closet, it's, it's, it could not be good. If if outside the closet is noisy, it's no good. And if the closet's, you know, if wood floors and shit, it's going to be an echoey closet. So that gives you reverb that can't be removed later in a clean, good, easy way. It's going to sound like shit when you try to remove it. Or it's, you're just building in this crap that now has to be part of your mix no matter what. So you're going to be like, oh, there's too much reverb on the vocal. Why? Well, you put it on there and I can't get it off because you recorded it that way in the room. So be in a dead room. Dead. Another thing. Maintain where your feet are. Like, be standing on a rug or something, at least, and make sure the mic stand is not, like, you're, you're not stepping on the stand at all. You're not kicking the stand. If you have jewelry, you know, like I rock a necklace or whatever, you got to tuck it in or take it off because that jingle jangle... Um, I recorded an album a while back. It's a great-sounding album, but it sounds like there's a freaking dog running around in the background, and you hear his collar jingling and jangling because I'm wearing the necklace, in it, and it's, you know, doing the jingles. Um, that shit can't be removed out of the whole record, you know, after you sing everything. So I don't recommend keeping stuff around that's going to jingle jangle all right and that includes anybody in the background you know whatever you can't hear when you're recording is going to be brought up as soon as you use compression and other things to crank the level you're going to hear like the noise floor gets louder so whatever the bottom of the noise what you couldn't hear with little quite you know somebody's opening a sandwich bag in the back or fidgeting on a chair you'll probably wind up hearing that as soon as you start bumping the levels all right, so the only way you wouldn't hear it is if there's significant space between the person or and you're using a mic that is not made to capture what's in the background. You know, a lot of things matter at that point. So if you want to avoid that, make sure you're the only person in the room recording the vocals or put the person somewhere isolated if you're recording them. Make sure the mic's mounted. Keep in mind, make sure there's no reflections. You want a dead room. It should be not reflecting. You want to make sure you're doing this where the level is in the green at all times, the most important thing. And that means backing up and getting closer. Maintain your own proximity towards the mic as you record. Figure out what that is to get the level to be right. Because if you don't have compressors and stuff, you got to do more to make it sound as good as it would be if you had that stuff working for you. All right, so these are a couple basic tips. Also, headphones. Make sure your headphones are on. Make sure they're not too loud. If you don't record with headphones, the mic picks up the music too, and it winds up canceling out the music itself and makes everything sound like shit. I heard a recording today where the song was fantastic, but the guy obviously didn't use headphones to record because it sounds like an MP3 from, you know, when MP3s first came out, when you had 56K modems and shit, and they were all full of holes, and it sounded like a, like a foot. That is what, it, you know, it sounds, the song sounds great, but the quality of the audio sounds like crap because of a basic lack of understanding that the, vo the your vocal, that's the source being recorded, needs to be isolated. It can't be also hearing the speakers while it's being recorded because even if the vocal is great, then you're also going to get all this bleed that winds up canceling out the other music that you have going on on another track. You're screwing everything up. 
So bottom line, don't feel bad. Don't be hard on yourself. Just learn all this stuff and then you'll get better. And you got any questions, let me know. I offer mixing lessons. I offer mastering lessons. And I also, you know, private remote tutorials. So, and we also mix and master music. So let me know if you need a song done or what you need. But it's nice talking to you. We'll be back soon. Take it easy.